Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Today I'm going to be showing you around this lovely 1999 uh, Citroen Roma Home C15. So that's the 1.8 indestructible diesel and the high-low version. So I'll show you further on in the video and you just pop this up and this comes up on the high cracking little example. She's had eight owners, are you going to make it number nine? The last owner has had it for eight years. It was coming up to needing an MOT in the next couple of months, so I've run it through the garage a couple of weeks ago. Uh, various little bits and bobs. The main was there was a couple of CV boots on the drive shaft. It was easier to change the whole drive shaft because we noticed just on a hard lot there was a little bit of a click, so it's had a new drive shaft. While we had it on the ramp to give it a pre MOT and inspect it, we found the sump, um, it's showing its age. I think someone's heli coiled the sump plug. Um, and you could see evidence there, and it was just showing its age, that sump. So other than just repair it, we've put your brand new sump on. Obviously at the same time, we've changed the oil and filters. So she's all ready. We took it through for MOT two weeks ago, and it glided through. There was something else he wanted, a CV boot, a bush, a sump, advisory for the previous oil leak. I think that was it, yeah. And it just glided through an MOT. Um, oh, just before we start, so this one here, I'm sorry I've not been on video for a while, I've just been so busy getting the existing, I've not been able to supply or take on any new customers, because we've been so busy this year supplying our existing customers, but I'm just finally getting on top of things, so I'll have a few videos coming up. This one will be going on sale in the next week or so, that's going in for MOT over the next couple of days, a lovely little example, 97 is it an R edge prefix? Yep, so that's a 97 or a 98. Little Starfire, two perf, two opposing sulfur beds that makes into a double bed. She's only done eight, eight, 30 odd thousand miles, that's just verifying. And again, this one, we just had it checked over, 32,000 miles. So we took it in the garage, as I always do on anything that's coming into stock. Give it a quick check over, uh, and it was advised brakes all round, so it's had new brakes at the back, a couple of brake pipes, pads and discs at the front, I think it had a tyre, and a couple of other little bits of bobs, but I'll go through that on the next video. So that'll be the next one coming on live, and that'll be on one of my famous 99p videos, no reserve, you dictate the price. Ah, here's another one that's just arrived. This is a lovely little one, another little damper back. I'm going to do this at a fixed price. So this is yours for the pricely sum of £10,000. £9,999. Uh, this is a 2008 Fiat Doblo. The last lady, she said it would be a last camper and unfortunately that's come to fruition. Um, so due to bereavement, that's how I've got it off the family. This is a 2008 uh, Fiat Doblo. Now, they bought the vehicle and they took it into John Charles Caravans who are still going strong in Preston and they converted it to a very high standard and a few little extra bits to the requirements. Let's uh, get the camera in, let's have you a sneak peek. Do some extra pictures. So you're more than welcome to phone me on 0798 526 1078 or WhatsApp me. This is a beautiful conversion. She's had it 10 years. And I think it's only done, it's done 51, 52,000 miles. Again, it come into stock uh, last month. We took it, uh, put it, took it to our local garage, just have a quick check, and it kept coming up with an advisory. If you check the MOT history, uh, registration number, Mike Kilo 08, Delta Victor Golf. MOT history is great. It was looked after. Her son was an engineer. So every year he changed the oil and filters himself and the garage that was MOT in it every year was on the same street. So it has been maintained. Um, as I say, on the advisory, it kept coming up with the exhaust. So we put it on the ramp. Sure enough, the ex the, just the outer casing of the exhaust was just showing a little bit of corrosion. It is 2008, that's still 16 years old, but I've put a new, complete new exhaust on it, took it through for MOT and it glided through. This has got even uh, pe is petrol, by the way, so ULES compliant for the cities if you're using it in that fashion. It has even got a Webasco petrol heater, and everything works. So this will come with a new habitation certificate. We've got the table, extra cushions to make a double bed. 
we've got twin burner gas hob, we've got fresh running water, loads of lights and cupboards. Yeah, it is really designed well. So I can give you extra details on that. My name's Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd, and you can contact me as always at campernerd.com or 0798 526 1078. If the camera can span around, I'm going on my holidays to Cyprus in the next couple of weeks for two weeks. So I'll try and get a couple more on while I'm away on auction. If not, it'll be in four weeks' time on my return. So we've got a Suzuki there, we've got a little Suzuki Roma home. I think that's a 1.3 petrol. We've got an Auto Sleeper Rambler. I think that's a 2 litre petrol. Um, this VW T4 will be coming on sale. Nice little holes worth. The last ladies had for a long time. I bought this myself 18 months ago. I think it might be two years ago. No, it was about 18 months ago. I was supposed to be going to Germany. I knew the, the World Cup or the Euros was coming up. I've actually slight change of plan. I was going to use this myself. This is a left-hand drive, Westphalia. Uh, it's only had one UK owner, so we imported it from Germany 10 years ago. It's lovely inside, so we'll go through that, get through the workshop, do an MOT service, and that will be coming up for sale soon. So will this one. Is this Holdsworth again? This is a J-Reg top top. That's a VW T4. Um, that one's a while off getting ready and that's about it there's a couple more due in uh, the Toyota is going to its new home owner in Lockerbie this week I've got an auto sleeper oh no I've got not one but two auto sleeper topazes very desirable so that's the 2.5 diesel engine T4 but with the rear washroom they always sell out instantly so if you want to contact me and you can be on the waiting list I can let you know when they're available. Okay, let's get back into the matter at hand. So we've got a Citroen C15. Let's just check the mileage. It's all checked up, yeah. 73,000 miles. So it's got full service history. It's all stamped in the book up until the last owner had it in, I think it, the last MOT or the last service in the book was 2015. We've got the garage that the last owner of eight years has been using it, but they've not been stamping the book. So you may or may not wish to chase that up with the garage and take the book in to be stamped up. But we've just done that complete service. I've got it stamped up. We've just had a habitation service carried out and everything works. Yeah, what would I say? Bodywork. Let's be realistic. It's 99, it's 25 years old. And I'd say it's eight out of 10. If the camera can come in, clearly the bottom of the door has had a repair and been painted at some stage a little bit on the edge there of the door but again it's 25 years old the MOT is great just a couple of mentions in previous MOTs of a corrosion to a seatbelt anchorage obviously MOT inspectors are very meticulous and fussy about seatbelt anchorages so obviously that's been done to a high standard um, and it passed again without a single advisory so coming around the driver's side, we've got a locker here. Oh, we'll give you a little sneak peek. This is beautiful. It really is spotless inside. But I'll take you in after we've had a drive and we've got Dennis the drone up. And we'll do a flyover and I'll take you in and show you the roof working. On this side, you've got the mains hook up. As I say, everything's working and supplied. We've got a gas bottle in there. Body work on this side is okay. So I say that's the worst. It's obviously had a little bit of a repair or respray there. I'll see if I can tea cut a little bit of that up and make it a little bit more uh, in keeping. But no, it's uh, very nice. Okay, I think we'll get we'll get Dennis the drone out. We'll do a flyover and then we'll go for a drive. Okay, Dennis, over to you.
let's go out for a short little drive just preheat the engine wait till the heater light goes out and the old girl starts on the button seat belts on ready to go five speed manual she's got power steering and that's about it wind up windows no sat nav no computers born in an era and an age where everything was mechanically easy to repair and replace so yes this is the 1.8 engine diesel and box pretty bomb proof and um, they're famed for going around the clock many many times they are slow and agricultural and commercial by today's standards but will always start up and drive we've had many of these over the years the only weak spot of course is the rust can happen on the body of this one this is far superior and it obviously is the evidence of the rust proofing and the wax oiling under the bonnet and under the chassis has obviously protected it over the many years and you can check the MOT history yeah it drives lovely all the gears are fine so I've covered just 290 miles it was about a 270 mile drive back to me so I drove it all that way back on the motorway 55 60 mile an hour no problem so we'll just come down the around the chicane we're at 30 35 mile an hour in fourth gear now we'll take it up to towards national speed limit yeah i'll be happy to drive this and deliver it anywhere in the united kingdom myself and get the train back if you're happy okay so we're just accelerating to its own thing at its own pace 30 35 40 mile an hour in third to fourth gear 45 approaching 50 mile an hour the range just started oh she's dragged well for an old girl 99 so we're approaching its 25th birthday into top gear now 55 approaching 60 we'll just slow down now this one's happy speed all camper vans have a happy speed i tend to find this particular one I would say is between 55 and 60, 55 it moves all day long, slow around the corner, back down to four. No, it drives all well, it drives really well and of course with this body shape, the low profile when the roof's down, these are still returning approximately 50 to the gallon so you could use this as your everyday vehicle and obviously you park it on a low story car park so I reiterate I'll be happy to personally drive this anywhere in the country and get the train back if you're satisfied I'll take back over the camera now and I'll take you inside and show you further around okay thanks for watching on that little drive I've said it before and I'll say it again it will definitely not be winning any races particular power plant this 1.8 diesel engine is famous an old plodder it will just go on and on and on as I say I drove it back over a trip to yes I did but by the time I was running through a couple I'd just done I think it was about 280 miles it was nearly at Dover it was on the south coast so I've done 299 miles in that so I'll be more than happy as always to deliver this free of charge included in the winning bidder all i ask is for a voluntary hundred pound to um, go towards my fuel and train ticket back now incidentally i'm going on holiday in two weeks time so i think that's the 28th or 29th or so my last day working day will be saturday the 27th so we'll have a seven day and just slightly shorter auction than normally i normally do for 10 days we'll set it off at seven days and that will give you a full week to take the delivery option if you wish so it works quite simply uh, pay me a 500 pound deposit i'll bring it to you if it doesn't meet your expectations that's never happened yet so let's not on this occasion be the first I'll refund the £500 deposit and sell it to the next bidder or relist it. That's never happened yet, so let's keep it nice and fair. I describe all the good bits and anything detrimental as well as giving it a fair appraisal. As always, a total three months warranty will be included.
So as I say, you've got up till the Saturday the 27th of April for the delivery option. If you want to take, you've got that should give you enough time, you've got one week. If there was for any circumstances, you can send the money, pay for it, and you can collect it while I'm away here at Camp Nerd HQ, and that's L408JG. And as always, viewing is highly recommended, and viewing is Demonstrate inside. Oh, I'll show you the. I'll show you the roof first. So straightforward on this high low version. We have four little catches. So we've got a catch here, little lever here, the lock, so it won't come up when you're driving. Another lever there. We've got two outer camera shot here, and then very straightforward. That will push up at the back and as well as the front, but you can also lift it off this string here. So I normally just push it up like that at the back. We've got two little levers here that lock it into place. So that cannot come down. Another steady away there. That's clicked into place. And the back, we've got this, that it allows a little bit of ventilation. You won't be able to see, but I'm going to push this up now at the back. So this gap here area, and that just clicks into place there. Hey presto, that will now not come down. Uh, on this above the cab, as I say, when you're pulling the roof down, to save pushing it from the back, you pull this pulley system and that will pull the, the roof at the back down and you can pull the roof at the rear end section, very straightforward. It's got some extra filling cushions. You've got the extra bed extender. So you just move the seats either slightly forward or tilt them, and that gives you an extra, I would say, 10 inches of bed. You've got the original plastic Roma Home table. Yeah, these were made by Island Plastics, so boat builders um, been going strong for years and this formula is nearly half a century old, this Roma Home formula, and it's it's actually been copied, which is a compliment to them. Auto Sleepers copied it with the Mizan model. And the bed is straightforward. I'll just bring the camera out and in and show you the bed. But all we do is just put a few of these slats across the middle section and then bring these cushions together these flop into place and that creates your large double bed all the lights are working the blinds these are foil covered so it in theory should keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter we've got reading glass uh, reading glasses reading lights above the kitchen area and we've got extra side area at the side either and that just gives you a bit more surface area in the kitchen now that's got an extra sink again that's all being tested and working now this is just for demonstration purposes this has got room for a porta potty 335 now this is not out of this vehicle this is on the toyota that's going up to lockerbie next week but i've just put it in there to show you it just about fits so that will take a porta potty 335 but that is not included in the sale I'll get a couple more in stock. So if you want me to include a brand new one of those, you're roughly, the, the smaller porta potties go, the more expensive they are. They're not cheap, these are about 125 pounds. So if you want me to include a brand new one in the sale, add 125 pound to the selling price. Underneath here, you've got the safety lock switches to isolate the gas to the fridge and the heating, etc. On the other side, the driver's side, we've got the three-way fridge. So this actually will operate when you're driving. It will also work on the mains and down below it will work off gas and that's being checked and working if you're wild camping. Two burner gas hob, the all important grill for your toast and bacon butties. Plenty of storage underneath both sides. Here, so this side has got storage. You've got mains socket below here. 
you've got a point nerf to use a 12 volt supply off the leisure battery leisure battery is underneath here and that's been tested we've got a zig unit to charge the leisure battery when you're on mains uh, the camera can't angle in but i've got i'll show you that on the pictures on the advert we've got a mains fuse box and we've got the water tank and that's about it okay i'll take over the camera and just show you a few little extra bits and bobs and the bed made up so yes going back inside with the bed made up this really is a tardis so this has created now with the bed extender at the top this from height to bottom is just about well it is it's not about it's six foot tall so it's six foot and the width is just under five foot so i would say um four foot ten so there you have it and there's the front curtains closed these are generally just for cosmetic reasons because you just pull up the foil blinds and there it is all set up nice and cozy for the evening sleep so I'll just show you a couple of more bits on the outside, the engine and basically how the auction will work. And then that's it, folks. And I'll catch you on that next video. So I'll just finish off by demonstrating how to put the roof down. This goes for any Citroen C15 Pilo. So at the front, we're just lowering the bars, the supporting bars. And then with this, pulley system we just pull forward that will lower the roof at the front and then at the back we just remove this maybe should have done that first but there it is we remove that panel there this can come easy peasy by pulling it down there and then if the camera can come back again then we just put the little latches across forward and they click into place with a little lever there so they won't come undone when traveling what a cracking little system Four little levers last one there hey presto we'll just switch the leisure panel is on here which i didn't show you so that'll charge and put your lights on and off off the leisure battery which are positioned under that seat Okay, I'll just show you a couple of last little things on the outside. So on the passenger side, we've got the hookup cable. We've got a Camping Gas 907 bottle in there, of course, on our habitation service, which has been carried out independently. A new hose and regulator has been fitted. Last customer's left you a few accessories and a large, long hookup cable. So that all fits in there neatly. On the driver's side, We've got an external cupboard, so that's just for accessories. Just got, looks like toilet chemicals, a bit of engine oil, a few little bits and bobs. That's the vent for the fridge. We'll just look under at the bonnet. Yeah, it's clearly been wax oil this, hence the MOT history is so good. And the bonnet latch, there it is. So this type of yellowing here is wax oil and that's obviously kept it in good fettle. It's not perfect, it's 25 years young, but it's as nice as you're going to find, I consider, for the age. So that wraps up this video. So this is a 1999 C15 Aroma Home. She's just had a full service, new MOT without any advisories. I'm gonna include a three months guarantee and a free delivery anywhere in the country. All I ask, if you want to take that option, option up, is for a hundred pound to cover the fuel and train ticket pack. If not, you're welcome to collect here at Campanerd at L48JG. As always, you can contact me with any questions, 0798 526 1078, or visit me at Campanerd.com. Okay, folks, I'll catch you on that next video.